Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Suho, and I'm from the K-pop group EXO. <laughs> it's an honor to meet the professors, students, and members of the Stanford community. What sound is? And they're watching online too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, and there are people watching online too. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here, but also very nervous. My English is not perfect, so I apologize in advance in case I make a mistake. <laughs> okay. I will try my best. Does anyone here know what Suho means in Korean? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Isma Sonsenim gave me this stage name. By the way, in my company, we address Mr. Suman Lim Sonsenim, meaning teacher. Suho means what? To guard, yeah, right. <clears throat> so anyway, you could say I'm the leader who guards EXO. <laughs> Today, I'm here as the guardian of EXO and K-pop. Today, I want to talk about my understanding of Hallyu and K-pop that I have felt and seen in the past 10 years directly up close. Before I begin my story, perhaps this video clip might brighten up your day. Let's watch it together. How was it? Was it great? Thank you. What you just saw was possible because of the fans around the world who support EXO. I'm always grateful for their love and support. <laughs> it's been 10 years since I became a part of EXO, member of EXO, you know? Uh, It's been 10 years, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> As you know, we have been communicating with our fans through countless songs and performances. Grow, Overdose, Call Me Baby, Monster, uh, Love Shot, Temple. What's your favorite song? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Since 2014, EXO has performed 133 shows in 76 cities around the world during five global tours. We have been to here, the United States, Canada, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, Japan, China, and many other beautiful countries. And every single time we perform, it hits me. Hallyu has no borders. My favorite moment during these world tours is meeting our fans at the airport as soon as we land. Such a passionate welcome by our fans make long flight hours worth it. 
It always touches my heart. And at the concerts, fans will sing along throughout the entire concert in Korean language. In countries like Mexico, Chile, places far from Korea, so difficult to visit often, they would hold the banners in Korean language and sing along in Korean. It's just mind blowing. <laughs> Every time I witness such a scene, I thought to myself, so this is Hallyu. Do I feel the power of Hallyu only on stage? No, I feel it every day. Here's an example. Dance covers uploaded onto social media, like YouTube or TikTok. I watch them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> every day, every night. <laughs> uh, singing and dancing to our music. These shared video clips are proof that Hallyu is not just a content to be seen by people. It's for all to enjoy together, participate, expand. And as our Sonsenim has said, it is now a recreatable tool. For me, the most shocking thing watching these covers were the details. Not just the dance moves. They replicate our outfits, shoes, hairstyles, and guess what? Even my facial expressions <laughs> and subtle gestures like this. <laughs> The important lesson I learned is that my habits or expressions that I have or make without realizing can influence many people. I'm honored by this love and attention, but, but, but all of this comes with a responsibility. My on stage and even off stage, things I do or even words I say has an impact. Once that truly got into my head, I began to feel the weight of it and learned to take responsibility. There are many reasons why K-pop took off as the center of Hallyu, but for me, this is the reason why we are loved. Yes, communication. The clips are from when I met fans in Korea and around the world. It was part of my recent new album promotions, and there were also surprise live interactions online. <laughs> Not just EXO, but all K-pop artists make extra efforts to communicate with their fans continuously. We communicate through live video calls with both Korean and foreign fans. We try to share stories with our fans, all to become a team. These experiences eventually create a strong bond between me and the fans. Years of communicative efforts are also a critical part of us, especially when we train together to dance.
He's famous for good moves, you know? Perfectly synchronized dance moves. It's a result of hours and hours of practice and passion. As you can see, all of our choreographies are very challenging. So don't tell Santemi. <laughs> I sometimes want to run away. <laughs> I still have nightmare about it. <laughs> Jokes aside. This can only happen when there is synergy from that bond we share. And this bond, of course, fans are included too. Our EXO fandom name. <laughs> Anyone know what it's called? <laughs> XOL? And then, Eddie? Eddie? Yeah, right. Do you happen to know what L means? Yeah, this is Stanford. <laughs> yeah. It's a short for EXO Love. EXO is a group put together by joining EXO K and EXO M. Now, in the alphabet order, what comes between K and M? Oh. Yes, Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> when EXO and EXO L, EXO could only be complete when EXO and EXO L become one together. We consider our fans as, a, as an important part of EXO, not just a fan from a distance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always BBD. I believe this sense of community connected K-pop artists and K-pop fans together into a strong bonded team. So when I hear fan stories like, I started trying to like in Korean food because of EXO. <laughs> I came to Korea to study and live here because of EXO. I'm so grateful for those who love Korean culture because of EXO. K-pop is now incredibly popular and beloved worldwide. TV dramas like Squid Game, movies like Parasite, What's your favorite? <laughs> Paris <laughs> Exo is not a movie. <laughs> uh, exactly, yeah, it's a good reality show. Yeah, right. <laughs> so gaining, they are gaining international attention and winning awards. And look at me. I never imagined that I'd be standing here to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Korean program at this prestigious Stanford University. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> I want to end on a note that summarizes my understanding of Hallyu. I want to stress that Hallyu no longer stops at one specific art form. We are witnessing its expansion into our society in every angle. Music, dramas, movies, food, education, and more. K-culture is more than a passing trend. It's a global phenomenon that will continue to grow and evolve. <sighs> As a group, we always greet with our motto, we are one. EXO promises to continue our journey to bring the world together as one through music. And I truly hope that our music will resonate with you. Thank you for having me today. And we are one, EXO, 사랑하자. <laughs>